All right, so just like I did in a previous video, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna test something. I'm gonna do it at my expense, so if it's terrible, you guys don't have to waste your hard cash. And I have no idea if this is worth it or not, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the, the store and I'm going to, there's something going on here at the park. I'm trying to make this a quick video and it's going to take at least 20 minutes. And in fact, what I'm probably gonna do is just edit the video down for time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to purchase this Epic Scent. Now it is 1,000 hard cash, so it is, it is pretty pricey. If I were to equate that to real money, 1,000 is, you know, somewhere like eight bucks, 850 maybe. But you can wait for cash sales to purchase this. And what I'm gonna do before I head out into the sun again here is I'm gonna go to my backpack and use my Epic Scent. I'm a little nervous. So here's the deal. You're guaranteed one Epic, guaranteed. It's gonna last for 20 minutes and dinosaurs appear to spawn every like two minutes or so. <sighs> and you have like a 10% chance to gain an additional epic dinosaur of any kind and then like a 4% a chance of gaining a lo local or a hybrid. It's either a hybrid or a local epic spawn. Since I'm recording this before the information is officially released, make sure you click on the link below for MetaHub. They will have the information that you can look at on a chart. And you can see the, the, the probability and statistics of all the different types of dinosaurs available. But that's enough of me rambling. My arm is getting tired and I just started this video, but here we go. Epic, it should start off with one right off the bat. Bam, it's not an epic. That was disappointing. If you remember my rare video, the first dinosaur that popped up was the rare. Although, you know, at least this continues to give me something else to look forward to. I know that there is going to be an epic at a later time. And in case you haven't been watching any of my videos, or if this is the first video you're watching of mine, welcome to the channel. And the way you can tell that your dinosaur is because of your um, capsule, is because they'll have little swirly lines around it. 201, not too bad. I haven't had any of those in a long, long time. The Eniosaurus, I stopped collecting those so long ago. So we have 19 minutes to go. Let's start walking around the park and I'll check in with you when I have something to report. And pretty much right on cue. Here we are at the 18 minute mark. <laughs> and if you've been following me for any length of time, and, and by the way, there were two dinosaurs that just spawned. I'm actually really only interested in the Gripposuchus here. And it's kind of funny because I'm gonna get over here into the shade. But this was the last dinosaur before this update that I had not unlocked or at least had the ability to unlock. And um, I found two of them on the same day and it was, it was pretty crazy. And the game trolled me by, I think I was two DNA short of being able to unlock it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up my camera in this tree here. Hopefully that works. And then I'm gonna dart this dinosaur. I'm only guaranteed one epic. This is an epic, so hopefully this is not my only one, but there is the real possibility. The good news is, is I will be able to unlock a new epic dinosaur. So 110 is absolutely going to allow me to unlock this dinosaur. The other dinosaur that spawned with it, I believe, was a common, but the Gripposuchus is now officially able to be part of the team. I'm gonna to continue to walk around and see what else we come up with. Okay, so now this is really unfortunate. My game is frozen, so I'm gonna to have to restart the game. I had 1456, but I don't know exactly when my game froze. And that's kind of a bummer too, because I was right about the time that I would anticipate having more dinosaurs spawn. 
So we'll have to see if I just completely lose out on those or if they spawn behind me and, and my game just didn't show because it was frozen. But it's the first time that that has happened to me. Oh. oh. Wow. wow. Okay. okay. So, so this, this was, was just, just a, a nope. nope. This, this is, is a, a a spawn from, from and in fact, you know what? That would be kind of silly of me to try to dart it from this far away. I'm going to go back because it was back this direction. Really interesting how now I'm starting to question if I should have walked away from it because it's not here anymore. But I thought I could come back to this area and it would reappear and then I would be closer to it and not and I'd get more time basically is what I'm trying to say. E, but this isn't looking okay, so there it is. It is back. So that's good to know. Now I should have more time with darting this. Remember I got 110 off of this last time. And it does pull globally, but then it also pulls from which habitat zone you're in. And I'm not sure that there was a nest migration just yet. I know Ludia has said that there would be a nest migration in September. We are in September, but I hope my screen recorder is working. But if you find a habitat zone with epics that you are trying to accumulate DNA from, it's probably better to use this uh, capsule in a zone that you want to be in and not in a park where Gyposuchus is really maybe the only epic park spawn available. And because my, my game froze, I did not get very far between my last darting session and my current new spawns for my capsule. This time it is a rare, it's an Amargosaurus, which is nice. It moves around a lot and I don't know why it is difficult to dart one-handed. I don't really use my left hand for anything when darting other than just holding my phone, but for some reason it's, it's it's a mental thing at this point, but only one appeared instead of two that I have been getting So maybe the lack of movement only produced one Dinosaur that time. I think we're up to like five dinosaurs in ten minutes So at least five more to go, which is about every two minutes. So I'll be back when we have another dinosaur. Okay, so we had more spawns this time we had a rare class spawn and a common class spawn. So I'm gonna hit up this Notosaurus because I could use Notopatosaurus DNA. And Notosaurus is a key ingredient there. My, uh, I feel like I'm either missing completely or I'm getting a direct hit at this point <laughs> on my darting sessions. The other one I believe was a Tarbosaurus. Not sure, I'll have to wait till my screen goes away here. So that's nice right there. Yeah, the other one was a Tarbosaurus. And I can't stress this enough, and I'm gonna keep saying it. Dart everything. I mean, at this point, unless you're just low on darts, and I'm gonna be low on darts here in a minute, but I have a couple more supply drops nearby to remedy that situation. But unless you're low on darts, like just dart everything, because you never know when something's gonna become relevant. It's gonna get a buff. It's gonna get a hybrid, and you're gonna feel really silly if Tarbosaurus has this amazing new hybrid, and you're not at a level where you can achieve that hybrid simply because you always passed up on them, which is kind of the boat that I'm in right now. And now we have our third Gryposuchus, which really makes me sad that I'm doing this in a park. Not because Gryposuchus is terrible, although I don't know that it's really all that great, but because it would have been nice to get, you know, something more relevant to anything that I'm working on. Something with a hybrid would have been nice. Um, you know, and I know I just said that you never know when a dinosaur will get a hybrid or something. So it is entirely possible. I've gone really high up in DNA on the Gryposuchus at this point, but 
a little variety would have been nice. Gonna keep walking, and uh, we've only got seven minutes left on this capsule. Time check is down to five and a half minutes. We have two more dinosaurs, the Nunasuchus and this Eniosaurus have now spawned. I've already spun the special event supply drop right above me, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip darting these dinosaurs. I know, I know, I said dart everything, but as you can see, I only have 15 darts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my way up this hill right here, and I'm gonna hit a couple of those supply drops, grab some darts. And in fact, I should keep moving because I think I can get out of the park zone and into like a habitat zone one, I think. Maybe habitat zone three. And maybe I'll get one more epic before my time expires. Okay, so there was a Notosaurus that spawned due to my capsule. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I'm still walking around. Hopefully we'll make it out of the spawn area for parks. And that will be great. I'm doing terrible in this because I'm trying to walk fast and there's people around me and I can't see my screen. It's not a good recipe. So with my time check, I'm at just over three minutes to go here, but I am going to pick up some supply drops on my way. Look at this, I mean, we have so many things to go over. Strike towers, new strike towers. The, the blue is a deeper shade of blue. Under three minutes to go. I have this uh, pterosaur strike tower. Maybe I should uh, wait till this runs out and then knock out that tower real quick. I mean, it only takes one dinosaur pretty easily knock that thing out. By the time I get this video posted, those will be on. So may not be worth doing on camera. Definitely going to do it. So many ways of getting DNA now. Between the strike towers, if you look at the battles, you get a daily incubator and this is actually better than the incubator that was in the beta because I'm guaranteed, ooh, we wanna get that, some Stiggy Moloch. The game really wants me to use Stiggy Moloch because it keeps giving me free DNA. Giraffe a Titan, okay. So it's probably gonna be the last dinosaur. So I'm only gonna get three epics it looks like. Whoa, the Giraffe a Titan now has a hybrid. Another dinosaur that I kind of passed over quite a bit other than when it was the uh, Dinosaur of the Week. A lot of direct hits, but then a lot of misses. Ooh, a lot of misses as well. Down to one minute to go. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Ooh, I thought I saw an epic, thought I saw gold lights behind me. Maybe, just maybe in the last minute, there's time for one more dinosaur to spawn. That would be nice. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think? 1,000 hard cash is a lot, I'm not gonna lie. And I think it's 400 for the rare. That's a lot. But, you're guaranteed DNA, so that's good. Last 40 seconds here. Three, two, one, done. So, no last minute epics, I got three epics, which it's three more than I have seen. I do know that the spawn rate for epics has gone down, at least for the local spawn epics. And it didn't go down a lot. I mean, there wasn't a lot for it to have to go down anyways, but it did go down like 0.2, but it wasn't even 0.1 to start with. So it's a pretty significant decline, like a 33% probably. So that's not good, but let me know in the comments below. Did you buy an Epic capsule? And will you use an Epic capsule? What do you think of the update? Are you liking it? I'm on vacation, this is going, and I've said that a lot, but this will most likely 
be the last video until next week. And I don't even know when I'm going to post this one, but whenever I post it, most likely the last one for the week. So enjoy the rest of your week. Play the game. Test out all the new features. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. And let me know what else you think the game needs to add. That's all I've got for this one. So until next time.